All right, it's that time of year again. Let me show you how to put Mac OS on an unsupported Mac. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the unpleasantries and just kind of get to the point. Um, you're gonna need a couple of things to run Mac OS on an unsupported Mac. You're definitely gonna need a flash drive. Uh, eight gigabytes or greater. I would recommend getting an SSD um, because APFS just really doesn't work right on mechanical hard drives and SSDs are a lot faster. Um, in fact, I'm running High Sierra on a mechanical hard drive um, because I have two different hard drives. I'm gonna put Mojave on an SSD. Why not Catalina? Uh, I'd rather just have it when all the updates have been applied and all the security patches are already there. So anyway, you're going to go to your web browser and put in dosdude1.com. Now this will work for Mojave and Catalina. So feel free to use this tutorial for both. I'm just using Mojave. Um... Go over here to my software, and I'm going to the Mojave Patcher. You can go to the Catalina Patcher, but I'm going to the Mojave Patcher. Um, requirements, check and make sure that your computer is usable, okay? See, look, there's a bunch of computers that aren't usable, okay? Um... You're gonna need this. You're gonna need a copy of the tool. So go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded. Um, and if you need APFS, um, if your computer does not run APFS natively, you're going to need um, you're gonna need an APFS patcher. And I will be more than happy to include that in the description. But he has an actual guide on how to do all of this. I'm just going to show you because some people don't like to read. And that's okay. So anyway, download his patcher. Once it's downloaded, copy it to applications. Go to your launch pad and click on Mojave Patcher. Now, if you need a copy of Mojave, the neat thing is, is you can go right up here to Tools and click Download Mojave, and it'll download it. Plug in your flash drive. If you already have Mojave, click the icon. Go to Applications. Um, install Mac OS. Install Mac OS Mojave, double click. It'll be verified. Then um, my flash drive's not coming up because it already has Mojave on it as far as, well, there it is. Then click your flash drive. Uh, make sure it is formatted as OS X Extended Journaled and click Start Operation. Now my flash drive's already been made because this part took exactly two hours. It was exhausting. So once your flash drive's been made, exit out, go up here, click restart, click restart again, and hold down your option key. And this could take a minute because, again, I'm using a mechanical hard drive. There we go. And for those asking, this is a 2010 MacBook Pro, by the way. Go over here to Untitled and boot the flash drive. I'll cut back to it once. Okay. It's when yours boots, you're going to be at the Mac OS welcome screen. Um, ignore these icons. They tend to get messed up. It's just a bug. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, you want to 
go to disc utility, unless you have a copy of High Sierra that is already um, running with APFS and stuff like that, I would go ahead and format. And you're going to want to format to APFS and click erase. I'm not going to do that because I've already installed Mac OS, but then uh, just click continue, continue, agree. If you're American, don't read it because Americans don't read anything. Uh, but before we go ahead and sign, click Mac SSD and click continue and it will install normally. After it installs, when it says that it's about to restart the computer, click on Mac OS post install, pick your model, mine is MacBook Pro 7.1, Pick your model from the drop-down list, and all the patches you need will be right there. You just pick the hard drive you need and click Patch. Again, I've already done this, and when you click Patch, it will automatically reboot. And I'll show you what you do when you're rebooted. First of all, check out how fast the SSD is booting. It pays to use an SSD. They're like 20 bucks. Get one. Doesn't even have to be a good one. Get a cheap one. It pays to use an SSD. Oh, that's bright. I don't have the brightness set on this one yet. Give me a second to log in. Okay, so one last thing you need to do before you're completely set up. Um, once you've gotten everything set up and you're logged in, this is gonna pop up. It's called Patch Updater. Now, I shouldn't have any updates. See, I don't. Um, but you will have five or six different updates. See, software update patch, SIP disabler patch, legacy video card patch, platform compatibility patch, night shift patch, USB support patch, iSight webcam patch. There's patches that you need to install post install. So run that and let it do its thing. But after that, you're done. It's, it's, really that easy and I've got to I've got to commend Colin DOS dude one that does this um, as you can see it's 2010 Mac 2.4 gigahertz core 2 duo 6 gigs of RAM NVIDIA GeForce 320M I've got to hand it to Colin he makes it so simple to install Mac OS there's really not an excuse not to so go try this out, let me know what you think of it, and feel free to leave a comment. Totally subscribe, because I'm going to keep doing more content now. Um, I've actually got the new iPad uh, keyboard coming tomorrow, so I'm going to do a review of it. Um, but definitely subscribe, keep checking back, and as always, take it easy.